As a sports parent or youth sports coach, you know that sometimes it can feel like it's the most thankless job on the planet. Isn't there a million things you could be doing for all that time you spend with young athletes? And, and I know that sometimes that lack of appreciation can get you down. So I'm doing this video to give you a boost to help you feel great about what you're doing for kids, your own and others on the teams, and, and to encourage you to keep doing it. Just the fact that you're here on my site or on YouTube and, and following me here tells me that you are a cut above the average parent or coach. And I'm here, I'm here to start off by telling you thank you for all you do. Now, if you're new to, this, new to us here at the Academy and, and uh, watching this, wondering if it's worth it to put your kids in sports, this list I'm about to give you is also for you. It would take a book to list all the benefits of sports for you, but here's my top 10. Health through exercise. Do you remember how when we were kids, back in the 80s or earlier, 80s for me, when after school we would rush to get our chores done so we could play outside with the neighbor kids? That's pretty rare nowadays. So what happens when kids get home from school if they don't have something like sports to go to? Yep, video games and other electronic entertainment. A whole host of benefits of playing sports for kids comes directly from their health due to getting enough physical activity. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention did a study and found that only one in four kids gets the minimum recommended amount of physical activity in a week. This means that most kids are at risk for poor physical and mental health. According to James Salas, professor of family and preventative medicine at UCSD. Do not underestimate this benefit of sports for our youth as it's not just about health today, but about the positive habits they're creating that last a lifetime. The next one, self-confidence. As adults, it's easy to forget how difficult it can be growing up and establishing your identity and your place in the world. But if you care at all about kids and want to help them, you must understand and always remember that the number one priority of most kids in middle school and older is to fit in, or at least feel like they fit in. They can handle a lot of difficulties at home and anywhere if they have this issue taken care of, and it's a building block for self-confidence. This is one of the biggest benefits of team sports for kids. It gives them a sense of belonging, so community, and often a few really good friends out of it. So once these basics are covered, then kids in sports can then take it to the next level of confidence by improving their skills, winning, bouncing back from defeat, getting picked up um, by teammates when they make mistakes, accepting that support uh, from parents and coaches, the list goes on. Then there's goal achievement. There's nothing so powerful as a committed human being on a mission to achieve a desired goal. And we have the fundamentals passed down from our genetics for this, like when, like when we're babies and we want to walk. <laughs> However, all sorts of negative thinking gets in the way, making obstacles uh, seem too hard. And, and many of us grow up uh, you know, seeking goals that get us the, just the minimums of you know, food, clothing, and shelter. And some of us, not even that. So sports is the perfect schoolroom for learning what it takes to blast through our adversities and push ourselves through discomfort and to do it early in life in a relatively safe place. In sports, kids learn goal setting and planning, how to ask for help, discipline, resilience, determination, all the things they're going to need when they enter the adult world. And you know this. Now, I understand that as a parent, sometimes it seems like a big waste of time to cart your kids all over town and, and arrange your life around practices and games. I truly get that as a parent myself. But most parents, are unaware of how each and every practice it ingrains a set of neural networks in the kid's brain about following through on commitment and of course all the other things I mentioned above. This stuff sticks with them, believe me, and there are countless studies showing a direct correlation between kids who play sports and better academic achievement. 
So when your kid is sulking from that last loss or, or not playing to his or her potential or, or playing timidly or too nervous and it seems like they want to quit, keep in mind that these are the best opportunities to gain the full benefits of sports for kids. Some kids learn the skills naturally and through experience and some need help. That's what I'm here for. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.